Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, come on, come on, man. Oh, the oh, 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 I gotta be honest, I actually took a break from the Hip Hop Awards. I haven't watched it in the last few years, so this year I decided to actually watch it again, and I really wasn't disappointed. I mean, Meg Thee Stallion came out out here driving a boat, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what that was, but she was out there driving a the boat. The little baby came out there, he killed it with her. So they came out the gate strong, popping, right? Bam. Then right after that, Little Duvall came out, he did his song, City Boys. So I'm like, oh yeah, City Boys. You know, we won. City Boys really, I actually really did win the summer because Hot Girl Summer, you know, y'all did y'all thing. But the City Boys, we finished that thing. We killed it. But then, this is when things got a little ignorant. I should have known it's Little Duvall. He, one of his colleagues brings out, you know, a dancer. She twerking. Then all of a sudden, someone on the other side brings out a midget or um, a height challenge young lady, however you want to put it. But they brought a midget and she started twerking and doing her dance. And then like 20 seconds later, here comes a girl in a wheelchair that has it has disabilities. Now I'm not trying to get no comfort because she's in a wheelchair, but like things just really started to, to turn left and get really ignorant. And for honestly, I was talking to my boys about it and we all watched it and we kind of felt like he made us as black people look bad. Like he just made the hip hop awards look bad to start off the gate. Like I know he was trying to be funny, but it just seemed like he was doing too much. Like he was doing a lot. But it is Little Duvall again. Like he's ignorant. He's one of like the old school comedians, kind of like Dave Chappelle. They say what they want to say because they, I mean, they're just blunt. They're funny. They don't really don't care who you know who they offend. So that's just who he is. But you know, personally, I thought he was kind of making us look bad. But other than that, I mean, like I said, the hip hop awards was jumping this year. The Cyphers, they all were good. I mean, they all were good, but I gotta say the best Cypher of the day was the very first one with Cash Doll, IDK, Little Travis, King Los. I mean, everybody in that Cypher was phenomenal. And then like, I'm from Virginia. I have family that is from DC, I have ties to DC, like all my immediate family is from Southeast DC. So you think I would have known about King Los? Like I know who IDK is from PG, but like King Los, I've never heard of the kid. Like where have I been on the living on a rock? Like where? But this man's music, his I mean his lyrics was lyrically it was good. Him and little Travis, man, I gotta check out both of them. Like I gotta check out their mixtapes because hopefully they got a mixtape out because these kids and they fire man. They, listen, I hope they get signed to somebody after this. But uh, the Cyphers. Is what people really come for anyways when they come to watch the hip hop awards the cyphers are always a1 like uh, they're always pretty good um besides that you know also what i also thought was pretty good was the uh freestyle battle for 25k like i said i haven't seen the hip hop awards in quite some time now but maybe like two years i watched a little bit here and there last year but i really just turned the channel caught the most on social media um but watching it when it first aired on tv it was pretty good. The battle between um, DNA and T Top, it was good. Well, at least DNA side was T Top. I don't know what you were rapping on, but we're gonna start with DNA. DNA really came out there. He he, he cooked that man. And he, when he said uh, T Top looks like a marshmallow, he had me rolling. But I gotta ask y'all, did y'all notice that, or did y'all feel like, or was it just me? that uh, DNA's lyrics was kind of like memorized. It didn't seem like it was actually a freestyle. Check this clip out and see what y'all think. Wop at the crime scene. I pistol whip him. I pistol whip him. I'ma clap y'all. You gonna get two butts. Megan Thee Stallion and Cash Dog. No matter what God's level, what girl wanna sleep with you? You built like a marshmallow with no job. With no job. He been a free agent longer than Carmelo. Okay, so if you notice, when he got to his punchline, you know, when he's really about to, you know, cook, roast, whatever you want to call it, to T-Top, the crowd cut him off, was like, ooh, he will pick up where he left off. 
which, you know, I was like, okay, you know, that's common. You know, maybe the first time it happens, you just knew what you was going to say. But then it happened twice. I carried it two times, and he picked up exactly where he left off. So it made me think he memorized his lyrics, which, you know, it is a freestyle battle. He's supposed to freestyle. But at the same time, for 25K, I memorized them bad boys too. Now on the flip side, T-Top, bro, what were you doing, man? You, this is not, this is a freestyle battle. You're supposed to cook, roast, all that good stuff. Like, you're supposed to come for DNA's neck, and you did it. Like, you don't spit on his neck when you got to, like, super close to the man. But you came out the gate, you know, you paused, you was, like, saying a little thing. I was like, oh, yeah, he about to come with his fire. But you never did. You never did. He was out here rapping about your life lessons and life and all that good stuff. Like, bro, this is not about you. This is about DNA. You supposed to roast him like he called you a marshmallow. And you said, I had to go and give my aunt a 30 just to babysit. And she's smoking in the house. I'm hoping she don't get my babysit. I gave my aunt 30 just to babysit. She's smoking the house. Hope she don't get my babysit. What? Bro, what? What does that have to do with DNA? That has nothing to do with DNA. Like, you talking about smoking and baby and what? That has nothing to do with DNA. Like, it's a freestyle battle. But I don't know if you wanted to win or you just wanted some like clout to be on TV. Because clearly, that, that I just, I, I don't know. On the flip side, we're going to continue talking about people. I didn't really understand what was going on. Let's talk about Sweetie. Like, when she got on stage, I mean, I like her song, you know, My Type. It's a cool song, hyping song. But her stage presence is terrible. If you actually looked into the crowd, like, the crowd was pretty much bored. They were all bored. You know, you got a few people bobbing their head and whatnot. You know, you got Quavo, her boyfriend, who's supposed to be supporting her. You know, he's up here doing his thing. He's dancing around, which any good man should do. Support the lady. If she jumps off the bridge, you jump out the bridge. Wait a minute. Well, not that far. You, you get what I'm saying. But you support your girl. It wasn't until Little John and Petey Pablo came out and did Freak a League. If you didn't know, her song, Sweetie, I mean, I'm sorry, her song, My Type, is a sample of uh, Freak a League. So if you didn't know, now you know. That's a little history for y'all. Um, but when Little John and Petey Pablo came out, that's when the crowd got hyped. They got crazy, so her, I don't know if it was her idea or Quavo's or whoever idea to bring them two out was a great idea because, I mean, honestly, that's your only banger right now. So ride the wave while you can and bring out the legends. It was just smart. Also, some other things that I did like, the baby. The baby was killing it. That guy was all over the place. The baby was everywhere, man. Like he came out, like I said, with uh, Meg Thee Stallion, killed that. I didn't realize how many songs the baby was really on until watching the hip hop awards. Like he's featured on so many songs, or he has like multiple, multiple bangers. He was out there killing it. He had a great time. I mean, the performances were really good. And also, it was one more cipher that I did forget. And I don't know if this is new either this year, but the comedy cipher that was actually kind of funny. It was, it was, it was actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty funny. I don't know if they do that every year, but I'm pretty sure they only did that because of Little Duval. He's a comedian. But at the same time, the BET Hip Hop Awards should, get to, should continue to do something like that. Continue to, you know, do something outside the box. You know, continue to give that, you know, new spark, new fire. Keep the energy going for each year. Do something different or continue something in the cool trend that way. While we're here, let's mention some awards since I mentioned the baby. Uh, J. Cole, you know, he clean house, took three awards. Uh, Cardi, um, Nas X, Meg Thee Stallion, they took two apiece. Uh, like I said, the baby won new, uh, best new uh, hip hop artist, of, best new artist of the year. So overall, like I said, the hip hop awards was really great this year. They really stepped the game up. Um, got me engaged, kept me engaged the whole time. Like I didn't even turn the channel away, except for commercials, but like, I came right back to it. I didn't turn it intentionally on purpose. Like, man, this is boring. Like, it really it was really good. Overall, I think I would give this year a 10 out of 10. The Hip Hop Awards was a 10 out of 10. It was really good. Um, if you want a full list of who won all the awards, I'm gonna drop that in the description box. So it'll be a link in the description box. Just click that and it'll take you to all the awards because I'm not gonna list every last award because I'm not gonna remember it. I'm not gonna remember it off the top of my head. So. Um, if you want, like I said, if you want the list, it's going to be in the description box. Overall, like I said, this year's Hip Hop Awards was good. Um, if there's anything else you think I missed or you didn't like or you disagree, hop in that comment box and let me know what you like, dislike, all that good stuff. 
As always, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell button to get notified on when my videos drop. Until next time, I'm going to catch y'all later.